Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm here in Cayo Hueso in La Habana and I'm going to go down to uh, a little place. I'm not going to tell you where it is, but we're going to a place. Let's go. in all white except for my sneakers and um, that's actually a thing that's pretty common here now people who are converting or in the process of getting initiated into Santeria actually dress in all white so I guess I'm kind of looking the part a lot of money here it's super vibrant and the people are really bright in terms of personality That's a common sight, these old American cars getting worked on. Of course they're older, so they need a lot of maintenance. You know, I was actually supposed to do a video where I would give away American candy, but I don't think I'm gonna do that anymore. It doesn't seem to be something that's worthy of a whole entire video. But to be honest, the way how I feel, I'm probably going to come back to Cuba. And if I come back to Cuba, I might do it. And I might bring some things that are a little bit more exotic than Snickers. You know, I think filming people without their permission here is um, probably a little bit taboo. So when people see me filming, they kind of have like this look like, uh-oh. I'm not complete uh-oh, but just like, what the hell is he doing? Who is he? Yeah, get your stretch on. Get your stretch on. Okay. I tell you, I really like this place because it's a beautiful urban ruin, right? You have vibrance, you have old buildings, you have wonderful architecture. I like it a lot. Estados Unidos. No eres cubano. No. Ah, soy, no. soy jamaiquino. Ah, mi nombre es Jami, pero pareces cubano. <laughs> Mucho gusto. Regálame un biscuit para mi niño. Sí. ¿Dónde está tu niño? En casa. Ah, Vine a comprarle esto, una compota para él. Ah, oh, ok. Que oh. son nazos. Ay, sí, mi hijo, para el círculo. Sí. Ven, Carmen, para que te den uno. Sí. El amigo es de Jamaica, mi nombre sí. es. El chocolate claro, con cacahuates. Para que se lo coja tu niño. Ahí sí, pan. Y un cacahuate, ¿hasta dónde tú llegas, Amil? ¿Dónde qué? ¿Dónde vas? ¿Para dónde vas? Ah, uh, um, uh, Callejón Amil. Callejón. Ah, pa. Callejón. Sí. ¿Dónde van a bailar? Sí. Uh, gracias. I find Cuban women to be extremely friendly. Even though this lady shaking me down for my candy, she was super cool about it. But we'll do a separate video discussing the uh, friendliness, if you will. So, as you saw, I just got liberated from my uh, my American candy. No, uh, See, my bad, bro. You know, even though my filming, yeah. 
even though the food here is kind of rough, specifically the meat, everything else is great, but the meat is kind of rough, um, I haven't gotten sick yet. And a lot of people, when they come here, they'll eat meat, then they'll get sick. I haven't gotten sick yet, so I'm a little bit happy about that. I know. The privilege right now is crazy. Similar to other parts of the Caribbean, Cuba's main economic engine is tourism. Unfortunately, that tourist activity doesn't necessarily radiate out to neighborhoods like Cayo Hueso. Well, actually it does to one place, and we're going there in just a second. This guy's selling plantains over here. 60 pesos. Due to constant devaluation of the Cuban peso, 60 pesos right now is just about 40 US cents. The thing that I really like about Havana, you know, is that it's really, really safe. Right? You see me walking through a neighborhood that's you know, in probably a low, lower socioeconomic uh, tier and nobody's troubling me, except for those ladies who liberated me from my American candy. More and more as I walk these streets, I understand why people risk their lives to get out. It's not just the economic situation, but there's an undescribable weight that's here. <laughs> The sun and the humidity kind of suck here, so that's why you see me dripping. This kind of looks like a housing project. Looks like maybe it was built during the 60s or 70s. No, it's old, but it's in good construction, or of good construction. I want to introduce you to the Cuban Harry Belafonte, Mr. Tom Jefferson. At 82 years old and in great shape, he has the ability to remember all of Cuba's recent eras. Everything from the end of World War II to the Fulgencio Batista administration to the revolution itself. He remembers very well the time when Cuba was a member of the communist bloc. He recalls working with Russians and even East Germans. Throughout all these eras, he stated that there was also some good, but also some bad. I actually told him I was of Jamaican ancestry, and he wouldn't let me leave without one Jamaican song. Banana! <laughs> This is the official Cuban remix. Banana! <laughs> 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 See, see, la, la cultura. You guys ready to see some hardcore Cuban culture? Here we go. Based on the common religious practices here in Cuba, it's kind of a toss up whether or not this chicken or this rooster is going to get sacrificed or sent to the dinner plate. See, <laughs> homeboy just randomly carrying a chicken. I love it. Uh, we have arrived. We're at Callejón de Jamel. Okay, and we're actually looking for some rumba. Hola. Huh? No, 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 no. What do you from? Uh, Jamaica. Welcome to Hamel Street. 
the main community project in, in the world Havana. This project was made in April 1st, 1990. The main reason was to teach us how to do more with less. Therefore, you will find all is made by recycled materials. The second one is to, to, to include the, the society, to include the, the community, to receive opportunities, something as a lessons, for example, some, some staff, like uh, food, like groceries, pencils, pens, whatever. Because teachers like me, we are used to teach people for free and then they are used to give us many things just trying to be grateful another thing really important from this point is to teach us uh, about our Cuban culture culture from Africa this culture came with these slaves decades ago but we are we are how can I say? We are used to practice the religion. The 90% of my people, we are used to practice the religion. Uh, it's called uh, religion Yoruba. And the last one, it's a music area. Something like that. In a few minutes, you will find music on live over here. We present Rumba Cubana, very important note. Could you see inside of the gallery? Okay, yeah. This is the gallery of the artist. Yeah. Normally, you will see uh, his, his main art. Mm -hmm. Take a look. Oh, this is the gallery. Okay. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. See, there's some beautiful African art here. Whoops. So there's actually a specialty drink here, it's called uh, El Negron, and I'm going to try it just now. Imagine the taste of rum honey with an infusion of basil. That's El Negron. So they said this drink, Negron, is actually an aphrodisiac. Let's see what happens. I don't know. Things might get a little weird. I don't know. <laughs> This gentleman is making a Cuban music felony. You cannot mess up clave. <laughs> Oh, 
Rodrigo. Thus far, I can easily say it's a mixed bag here. I mean, the people are really, really bright. Um, it's a rich, rich culture, but there are a lot of deficiencies in terms of what people have access to, and money is definitely one of them. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Deuces.